just testing this out, seeing how everything goes, trying to answer some questions for people. Just testing this out, seeing how everything goes, trying to answer some questions for people. Got going on. Congratulations, you've been supported. One of my bets for the day. going on on my own. Some freighters for sure. Could always use some freighters to max out on energy. Okay, my bags are full. Big one. Go 
instead of roasting that energy. For anyone that didn't know, whatever heroes you point in here will be the heroes you get. So, Cordelia, where's my Luna? Luna. So, I'll actually get those parts. It matters what heroes you put in there. The rest doesn't matter. So, whoever you want. Heroes. Pitch to Nine. That's the final. Three heroes. All right, that's done. Work off some more of this energy. Camera. first. Oh, this one right there is 20. Let's do it. I have to kill that many anyways. 20 of them, here we come. thing. Then do my normal stacking because you always want these. The guards gonna need them for next season. Gonna need planks for next season. Always speed ups. Speed ups. Refresh. More planks. Speed ups, always 60% iron, more speed ups, more planks, more speed ups, gold, gold, speed up, planks are so needed, so are cigars, cigars are huge, you're never going to have enough cigars, especially with the amount of legendary heroes. things I just did. Back to freighters.
there any bounties around? Let's see. Ooh, there are some bounties. Oh well. There's a bounty. I might go bounty hunting after these prayers. Bounty hunter. Dude is like in and out. Trying to put this guy away. Dude's trying real hard to kill AFKs. Real hard. What's going on? How many more do we hail of these frigates? Fifty percent there. Ten more to go. Well, we might get a little PvP while waiting. Looks like we're hitting this tower. Help out. Chasing boats, chasing boats. Fuckers going. Collect my experience. Use the better ones and they come to you. You don't have to chase them down. Only need a few more of these. Okay, 
four more. Any other student missions? Should count as five. Conjures five. I'll take that one. Almost there. You could probably just go buy the other one from the store. Zip store is what? Oh, oh, new zip store. All right, there we go. I guess we'll get them right here. Conjures always. Oh, let me get conjures first. I haven't bought anything for the day, so I need to get my gems up. Speed ups. Speed ups. Be back. Later when I make purchases. But that should give me my conjures. So let's let one rip for free. Nothing. Let's rip a tenor. See what we get. No legendary there, folks. All converted. Right. Let's see. Let's go bounty hunting. Let's go hunt some bounties. Let's see. Are they all hiding? More bounties. Let's see. Let's see. Is he hiding? No. He's in the big mess over here. Where is he hiding? There he is. Let's go get him. See how many people I get attack me. I'm trying to go for this bounty. One ship leave. Bye, Danica. Just here for 
the bounty. See what else we can get for bounties. Is he hiding over here? Is he in the port? He's looking like he's in port. Can't kill dead men. Crush is hiding. Caesar's hiding. Other two people are hiding for bounties. Bitter, get yourself some bitter. Can't kill dead man. Put it in impish mode so it's a little bit less laggy. It is lagging. Cat's got a bounty on her. Just question is where her flight ship is. Might get this bounty here. That's gonna be huge. I'll take this bounty. Bounty secured. 300k bounty all day. Got a 320k and an 80k so far. Need as much gold as possible. You're always going to need gold for stargazing and flagship upgrades. Alright, let me get out of here so I'm not getting attacked by the tower. Even if the tower is weak, has weak attacks. Let's see if we can find any more bounties. Bounty hunter. I'm guessing he's still hiding. Um, nothing there. I bet the other person's still hiding. They're still hiding. The Charlie dudes may have a little sound too. Because we have it muted. Oh, 
chest today. Speed up. Glitched. Any more bounties to hunt for? How much gold did he left? Well, I guess he's back. Showdown today, we gotta make our bets. Build on DNR. Build on rock. Where are we? And, uh, what? My guess is. What the heck? It's weird. They must have put a limit on that that I'm not aware of. What? My guess is. What the heck? Oh well. Quiet right now. Kinda quiet. Let's just keep taking these, sitting on these towers. Can't wait to get my planks back. 
needs to wait for support. Support takes forever, and they only work at off times. Reminds me, let me message support. emeralds so I can't really spend more on that. Twelve hundred on ten, but I don't have any more tens. Guess we can do a little stargazing for twenty four hundred points. Just finish it off then. We can only still only be close. Nope. Stargazing, looking at the stars. Why you always need gold, it just keeps going up. I think this will be getting me close right here. Almost. A little bit more. Gold shells right now. For every minute construction speed consumed, I can do a little bit of that. Uh, construction speed. Welcome, Jet, on the top. How are you today? Hopefully today's a good day for you. Oh, we have building upgrades we're doing. Get closer. It's been nine hours. Finish this off first. Let's see where that puts us. Not too far. Come on. Upgrade 
again. Days, three days. I got one day. We'll finish this off. Eleven days. Stargazing. Fun. Ooh. Oh, looks like I'm being attacked. Sure, man. I can show my setup. It's not the most optimal one, but uh, it's what I'm using at the moment. So right here for flagship, I'm using Ahab, Cursed, and Magnus. If you don't have Magnus, uh, I would recommend Armstrong. She's very good with the tanking features and her taunt. Um, next thing I'm using is Fearless Princess with my strategy people with Griffin, Boa, and Molly. You can see. And then using my Stormbringer uh, with Lester, Tanaka, and Cordelia for the heals. She heals off of attack. Um, need to work on this. This is like my work in progress ship. But I do have one I created. This is a really good skill. It's probably one of the best ones on the Stormbringer. Especially if you're going to have healing on it. it increases uh, all the rage of all your heroes. It will also create more heals. You're getting based off of your attack percentage. And then my artillery. You know, you have Chi, Sharky, Philia, and I think I skipped over my cutthroat, so I apologize. Which is Bo Bones, Lord Kojo, Luna. You could also rock, if uh, you're rocking the Blades of Freedom set, you could uh, put Lulu in here as well. That's an option. But I'm not rocking the Blades of Freedom, so that's why I don't use it. Hit him. Let's see. Work my way back up. Let me know if you have any further questions from that. I can explain out my reasoning behind things or my theory. Show you my heroes too. What are they looking at? Got most of them to eighty. At least all the ones I've been using, I got up to eighty. She's the only one, Adeline, but she's great to use if you have her. I just haven't spun on her. Uh, but she's probably one of the best heroes that came out of Season 2. She's very strong for taking on water damage. She does very well. Let's see. So we just take the long way around. Server's going okay. Um, 
we're mostly just hanging out in season one now. We have uh, season two has only got one day and seven minutes left. Then it's gonna make us come back to season one. We are uh, we got some betrayed by some allies in season two. Uh, they kind of had us preoccupied with another gang. We pushed them out of the middle, and then the other two ganged up on us. And then it was actually like a three on one. So we kind of got pushed out, but we still got uh, port five awards. We were able to get that. So not too much of a loss. I mean, season awards aren't really that thrilling. Okay, you lost a couple conjures and one hero selection. That's not that big of a deal, but it just shows that uh, the people that we are playing with, we can't they can't be trusted. But sounds like we won't be uh, meeting up with them again. We'll just have DNR, which we've been fighting with in season one, and they they're on our server as well. I mean, they're stuck with us, so they made their bed, so we'll be fighting them every season. And then it sounds like we got a couple different servers, so we won't see Rock again, sounds like. And we won't be seeing AUA. We've seen a couple of the, the earlier servers in like the 90s, from what I've been told. Sorry if my throat sounds terrible, I've been fighting a cold. Really, Cat? You just saw me go in. What server are you on, man? Forty-three. Uh, yeah, we'll... we won't be seeing you. Like I said, I was I was told that we had a lot of servers. Like I think like ninety, maybe like a hundred. Um, so we won't be seeing you. But maybe maybe next season it's starting to catch up. A lot of the I'm sure at one point they'll probably maybe not this season coming up, but like the season after we might see like a server merge. You know, just because I'm sure some servers aren't as active. So at one point we could definitely see each other. Because you're going to be in the same season as us, around the same time, so it could happen. Maybe season four. But our server's pretty active. I mean, can't complain. We didn't kill off. I mean, there's still two strong gangs, so that's not the problem. I'll show you our leaderboards. So, we have some strong people but, that we've been fighting. But we were pretty much, we were the stronger server uh, coming in. But uh, Reign of the Krakens, they had just they had a lot of people that were just active all the time. They were a very active gang. They at least probably had like on average like 50 people playing at all times. So they ended up being the better gang of everybody. For but power wise, Silver 118, we definitely had it. Uh, tap tap. Yeah, I can show you my build right now. Uh, just fair warning, it's not the best. Oh, look at it. Hold on, I got some fighting going on. But I'll show you in a second. Later, Synapse. Guy. But tap tap, I haven't forgot. I'll, I'll show you my build in a second after all this. We 
actually kind of interesting if you guys haven't seen the patch notes either. The, they're going to reduce your rage every time you change your target. So it's going to have you kind of more focused on one target. And I don't know if it's going to impact when you're moving and everything. Like if someone's attacking you and you're moving the whole time. But uh, that was a good fight. Good job, Evil. Let me just go refresh my troops real quick. Targeting sometimes in this game is awful. Uh, 53 million power. Uh, I think I'm sitting at $4,000 in the game. Around there. I'm not VIP 13, I'm at VIP 12, and I've been there for a very long time. And I've been playing, so we're almost done with Season 2. Um, but to get to where Badman is... I mean, he's already VIP 13, and he uh, he's definitely uh, got a lot more power than all of us. He's definitely outspent a slideshow on myself. I mean, to get to where his power is, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But power doesn't mean anything. I don't know if you guys have noticed, like when you're fighting whales and everything, it's all about the amount of people. So the more people you have... The uh, the better it's all, you're going to be off fighting people. Um, a, a stack of five people at level 30 can beat a well at 35. It's all about numbers. Yeah, it's a lot, 4K. I mean, 4K is definitely a lot. I mean, definitely don't recommend anybody that can't afford it. I always tell people, you know, don't spend the money you can't afford. Luckily, I'm in a position I can do that. Um, but it's not for everybody. And it gives the, you know, as everyone says in these games, oh, well, we're paying for, you know, the development of the game. So maybe, maybe not. But like I said, I have the money to do it. So I've done it. And it's a game I'm going to be sticking around for a long time. Got a good fight going on. People starting to show up. I really hope they fix the servers where it's less laggy. I mean... I don't know if you guys had a, a big Fort 7 fight, but when we had like 200 ships fighting, it didn't help that they did an update and crashed the whole server all together, but it was just super laggy. Like, like five minute delay. You couldn't, you couldn't fight. It was just everybody's ship was stuck there. Later. Um... Oh, we have a second. Let me get in the port, and I'll show you my build. Tap, tap. Um, so right now, as I said, right here, here's my flagship. Uh, what I recommended earlier, if you don't have Magnus, definitely rock Armstrong. I like all three uh, the shields. I think they work better than the rudder. Uh, a lot of the buffs don't stack with each other, so the buff that it gives you is like, like the same one that Magnus gives you, and it kind of deletes it. So overall, I think three shields is better. Then here are the princess for my strategy. I'm rocking the normal Griffin, Boa, Molly, my cutthroat. You have the bones, Lord Kojo, and Luna. And I mentioned earlier that if you don't, if you got, if you've been rocking the Blade of Freedom setup for your cutthroat, if you have a cutthroat ship, uh, you can swap Lord Kojo for uh, more healing with uh, uh, Lulu. She can put up a good amount of healing with the amount of attack power these ships have. Stormbringer is not optimal for me. It's just optimal for myself, but like it's not the best build out there. I can show you in a minute what the best build is out there for Stormbringer. Uh, I can because I know Badman uses it, and I'll show you guys that in a second. And then for Crimson Sentinel for my artillery, again not using Blade of, Blade of Freedom in the the normal setup right now. Let's see. So that's there is there. Pop him real quick. Uh, but we're talking about the best build. Uh, let me find him. Alright, Bedman. Uh, right here, Stormbringer. That's the best setup right here. With Adeline, Tanaka, and Cordelia as the captain. That That's putting out a lot of damage. I'll show you in a second. Uh, let's make sure I'm not dying fully. Alright, let's get back in the port. I might die here. They're all targeting me. Get into the 
port. I have no clue. Oh, I did. Uh, I'll go back to the report for you guys. Hold on. Uh, so if we go... Batman. Right here. This is what he's rocking for a Stormbringer. This is pretty much best in slot for the Stormbringer ship. Yeah, he's got maxed out trinkets pretty much, which is tough to beat. Um, but gives you an idea like what he's putting out and I'll show you this damage it's probably his most damaging ship yeah right here so there's there's the numbers he's Cordelia's putting a lot of heals out and like I said Adeline she's got a lot of damage so that's the best build right now for Stormbringer in my opinion he's got a really good setup for that mine's just doing as much as it can with the heroes I have but there's always next season which we get a cutthroat hero, which I'll be going for. He replaced Lord Kojo. I don't think these health numbers are updating very well. Because I'm almost dead. I looked at like full health, and he's. I've been attacking him. see what that report shows. Yeah, he was almost dead. So hopefully the game improves on this. I don't know what they have to do. Add or better uh, server clusters or some kind of sharding. But just to have a little bit less lag. So, you know, like I said, the guy looks like he had full health. And I knew I was attacking him. It was the only way I knew he had a lot less health than that. And like I said, the add more people, the more people more lag so hopefully they can figure that out I'm just turning into an all-out brawl looks like a little bit season one shenanigans I also hope they, they said they were going to implement it, and I don't know how far they're into implementing it, but um, if you own the port, there's going to be, they want to implement a longer delay for the people that don't own the port, so you don't have this kind of fighting going on. You kind of have to be a little bit more strategy, um, so that'll be kind of cool. Uh, that'll be kind of, create a little bit more better fights instead of just in the port, out the port, in the port, out the port. Just to replenish, and I mean, it should give you a little bit more value of owning a port. I keep bringing up to them, you know, you have to create more value of owning, want to owning a port, a little bit more reasoning uh, instead of just taking a port and just so it's something you can trade from. So I hopefully they uh, keep implementing some for that. Drag you out, folks. Ooh, someone had black market stuff. Also, another thing I wish they uh, implemented, which will probably un unfortunately add to the lag, I would like to see like the debuffs that they have on ships, um, or the buffs your ships have. That would be awesome. I would like to really see that implemented, just to see you can kind of see the up and down time of buffs and debuffs. You know, kind of figure out more strategies for ships. Right now, it's kind of very limited. You can only go off the report, and it doesn't show buffs or anything, or the uptime or downtime. I would love to see that. There he goes. See? It's all about numbers, folks. The more numbers you have, the bigger, you know, the advantage you have. No matter how strong you are. Let's 
sell what I have. I appreciate people like you. You're like <laughs> a gold star. Uh, still got the black market to sell too. out there. But, I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure you can agree that this isn't the best kind of way to fight, but it's what's in the game at the moment. In and out of ports, trying to reduce people's troops, sailors. Hopefully they can add in a little bit more interesting. Uh, season 2 is pretty much over. I mean, there's nothing out there left. If you already did all your guild stuff and everything. Uh, so season 1, why we fight is, you know, want to control the middle. I mean, the middle is the best part. You get all the you get all the buffs. So if you own Port 7, you get the the Council of Black Sailors buff. Uh, it goes, it comes and goes. It matters uh, what's going on in the, uh, the season. But your season 1 buffs will always be there in your council. So... Fighting in Season 1 is still worth it, and if you have uh, the guild stuff and everything. So right now, as you can see, we own the middle. Kind of have it spread apart. DNR was pushing up here. We pushed them back out, and now they're up here. Uh, where's DNR? So they're over here trying to work their way back towards the middle. But yeah, Season two's over. The wards have been already given. There's nothing to do in Season 2 anymore. So... And we're season 18, uh, server 18 is very active, so this we're going to fight each other. The only thing really good in season 2 is you're going to go hunt more bounties. But yeah, season 2 is dead to us pretty much at the moment. There's more things to do in season 1. Don't want to chase. I don't know if it's the same for everyone else's servers, but I don't know if other guilds come back to fight for the middle, but ours does. Watch you to chase. That huge cutthroat damage. Later. Let's show you some damage on that real quick. That's weird. He can definitely beat me. Solo. 1v1. He's so much stronger than me. He pretty much has every cabinet maxed out. And his trinkets are better. And he also has... I think... I'm pretty sure he pretty much has all stargazing done for Season 2. Stargazing is where the real power is at. I would say it goes trinket. And then stargazing for, for pure power. And I don't know what the game's doing. Kind of stuck here. Can't move. I don't know what's going on. Pretty much lagging out. I just die here. Uh, like, what do you mean gems? 
like what are the best to use for your gems? Like what's the best use for gems? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. going on in my game right now. Oh, so what's the best stats? Uh, you always want to get 100% crit. Um, I don't know what my game is doing on right now. It won't let me enter the port, which is interesting. So I don't know what's going on there. And it's like not letting me really move. Strange. Let's do that. Um, I'll show you in a second. Hold on. Uh, so, so like my cutthroat ship. I have a 100% crit rate, so you want a 100% crit rate, and then after that you're going to want to stack as much crit damage as you can if it's an attacking ship or a damage dealing ship. Um, so the more crit damage you have, but I say the first priority is to get your crit rate up to 100%, and that's what I've been trying to do for most of my ships, is to get the crit rate close to 100% as possible. This one's 88 with 70% crit damage. Uh, so I think crit rate is the first priority that you want to go for, except for if it's like a Stormbringer ship and it's dots. Uh, damage over time, the or he healing over time, the the initial damage can crit, but anything over, like the dots and all that cannot crit. So it's going to be consistent damage, so crit really does nothing for dots or healing. So it's kind of worthless there, but all damage can crit, but just not the damage over time. Why is my left click not working? Is it working anywhere else? No. I have to restart the game. on damage or attack set. Which one is good? Uh, damage is overall damage and attack is towards everything else. So um, damage is everything. So damage is like the like so that's between like it would count as for like cutthroat taking on water damage, regular attack. 
It's just overall damage uh, increase. So technically overall damage would be better than attack because attack is just one category of it. Um, so if you can get more damage as they as they categorize it, that's the higher damage the better because it's going to categorize all overall damage instead of just attack. I don't know what's going on with the game mouse. I can't click. I have to restart. The game broke. Can't move. Right, let me restart the game. Can't hold off. Just give me a second. Restarting the game. Hopefully that fixes it. Hey, I can click again. Alright, we're back into it. That was weird. So, let's see. I think I have... Uh, one of these ship parts have damage. Uh, like damage right here. I have. So instead of attack, it's just going to be my overall damage. I don't know if they added a. Uh, under attributes. Let's see. Not 100% sure. No, they didn't add anything. But the best way to look at it, Jap, is damage. Is all these categories burning damage, taking on water damage, artillery, cutthroat, strategic damage. Over so it's just a, there's sure, I'm sure there's some kind of formula out there. Uh, maybe a good uh, guy like um, Numbers Bob, which is a pretty good streamer and content creator. He might know the exact formula. He's bigger into the numbers. Uh, but this is just a just some kind of formula where it takes you know all this damage and multiplies it by whatever probably percentage that is. There, CJB. You got caught, brother. But, like, uh, another example for attack, just using like a healer. Cordelia. Well, let me just go to hero, sorry. I want to attack this ship, so. Oh. Got a fight going on. But, heroes. Uh, Cordelia, I think this one's based off attack, yeah, so when you're stacking attack, this number will go up, HP equal to 96% of the ship's attack, so the more attack you have as that stat, it could increase the healing. Interesting. I don't know why the sound is uh not playing. I'm just being weird. Or maybe it's my headset. I had to change it. Sorry. Actually, there's sound playing. Ooh, slideshows here. I 
cactus, so. Go get him, Slideshow. Did that help at all, Jet? Did I answer that question for you? I don't know if he's trying to 1v1 or not. Mistake. I really hope with the new changes coming that if you move your ship, like as long as you still have that target, as long as you move your ship with them, you don't lose your rage. I really hope that's a thing. Um, we'll have to find out. But as I feel like if you still have that one person targeted and you're just moving with them, that shouldn't count as you changing your target. So hopefully that's still a thing, because that'll help still with, you know, kind of kiting and everything. If not, it's kind of going to be terrible. Kind of be make more stationary fights instead of moving along. Thanks, Jet, man. You too. Hopefully, uh, I mean, we got a couple more days. We have our settlement and then a couple more uh, after that. I think it's like three days after the season closes. So we have a couple more, about a week. But good luck to your season three, man. Have a good rest of the day.
Uh oh, bitter. So we can't. Got him. Yeah, season three will be fun with all the different servers. Now you're going to be going against six other servers. It'll be a really good time. I can't wait. It's good to see new people. So I'm glad they changed the matchmaking so we won't see the same servers all the time. So I'll change it up a little bit. Create different relationships with different servers. Should be really good. I think that was pretty good. Chasing the bad man away.
but I'm gonna go rest my voice, everyone.